welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. I did the recent video on your inner child and previous videos on the imposter syndrome about how we talk to ourselves, about how we have dialogue and what we say to ourselves. Well today I really wanted to focus on that self-talk. I think that all of us would probably agree that we are much kinder to children and other people than we are to ourselves. And I would like to give you four specific things to address that. I think that the inner parent in all of us scolds, chastises, tells us we aren't good enough, and is so critical that we really need to make an effort to change those tapes. I think that so often our self-talk runs on a tape and we aren't aware of it. And I think you have to become aware of it in order to practice these four steps. Once you're aware of it, the very first step that I would challenge you to do is to do a reality check. Is what you're saying true? I think frequently you will find it is to the extreme. I am so stupid. I am not good enough. I'm never going to get this done, etc. And I think that if you can do a reality check, you will immediately find that the reality is not to that extreme. The second one is to challenge you to think, what would my best friend say? And you may have different champions for you in each of the situations. So you might have somebody who would always be your best champion at work, somebody who, when you're trying on that dress and say, oh, that makes me look so fat. Think of who the best champion is for yourself in each of these situations and think, what would they say? Would they agree with me? And get some perspective other than yourself because you are your worst critic and you really need to realize that nobody sees you as negatively as what that self-talk is telling you that you are. The other thing is putting it in perspective. If you think you've done something really stupid or you know that you just can't recover from, is it really as bad as you think? Do you think that everybody else perceives it that same way? And maybe another way of looking at it is, will you even remember what this is in five years time? Number four is put a better spin on things. And that means not only to not buy into the extreme doom and gloom, but look at solutions. Don't just let that tape run mindlessly of you're so stupid and oh, you're not good enough and you're never gonna get this done. Okay, what do I have to have done and by when and how can I make that happen? really focus on solutions and that can help stop that tape and that inner negative chatter. And when you put a better spin on things, sometimes that can be looking for the positive. You're never going to be good enough. No, I am good enough. I may be lacking and not strong suit in this one area, but I'm really good in these other areas. So make sure that you don't allow that negative chatter to go unchecked and put a reality check on it and see that you need to challenge those tapes that run unconsciously in your mind. I would like to challenge all of you today to recognize the negative self-talk and to use these four steps to turn things around, to be more positive, to recognize the many positive traits you have, and to stop that negative self-talk. It takes a negative toll on you, and you are so much better than what you allow yourself to believe. I hope that this helps you to see how fabulous you are and that you are definitely enough. I look forward to your comments as always. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day, and we'll talk to you next time.